Welcome back to Clooney Garage, it's Fred here. In today's video, we're going to start getting back onto that VE track ute. We're all motivated after our track day at Wakefield, so we're going to do the bonnet, the guards, and get the bar uh, prepared. We're going to paint it in matte black. Stick with us, it's going to be a great episode. Let's take a look at the ute. So those of you that have seen the ute before, you know that this ute has been in some hard damage. So Fred Jr, just show all the viewers all the peppering that this bonnet has got and it's just well beyond repair. So to try and get all those hail dents out, it's going to cost too much money, take too much time. So we went to the wrecker and bought this bad girl. Now this, this is off a, a VE. It's a, um, it was a station wagon and it's sort of like a metallic blue, but we don't care about that because it's all going to get painted in matte black. We'll show you a look in a second. I'm going to do the front guards as well. This car has been in an accident at the front and we could definitely hear just around here that the, there's obviously some bog under there and all the clear coat was starting to um, come through too. We're going to sand all that back. We've just started there. Um, you've seen the front bar before. We're going to, um, we've done that in a, in a, um, a matte black but then I put some clear on it. I'm not happy with that. I'm going to knock back the clear and go all matte black. Matte black bonnet. Matte black bar. We're going to do the other guard and then we'll have the whole front end done in matte black and then we're just going to keep going on the whole back of the car and then we're going to get our Penrite library. So we've got a ton of room here at Clooney Garage. We've got move, you know, room for lots of different cars. This area here was a bit of a gymnastics area for the, for the boys, but for today's purposes, we're going to set it up as a little bit of a paint bay. That way it gives us lots of room, get our sanding, get our prep done and then we can get our paint on. Okay, so we've got our bonnet in an area where we've got plenty of room to move around it. Um, and we'll take you through the preparation steps we're going to do first. So this bonnet is in pretty good nick for a junior from even though I was at the wrecker there out in the elements It's got no dents in it from what I can see. Um, we'll get the dust off it so you can have a proper look on it um, It was a pretty straight car um, But the first thing we're going to do is it's got a, um, a paint on it at the moment Obviously with a bit of clear on top. We're going to strip that back with our orbital sander We'll go 180 then we've got 320 We've got some um, stuff we can do by hand here as well, up to 400. Um, and then we'll show you what it looks like when we actually prepare and get all that um, previous paint off and get a nice finish. Next step then, use our wax and grease remover, clean the surface, clean it all up, um, get ready for some etch. We'll do a sand in between that etch coat and then we'll let it dry and then we'll start our matte black. Um, and when, don't think we're going to need it for this bonnet. But we've got some body filler in that too that we'll definitely use for the guards and where we can't get that last couple of dints out. So we'll show you how to use that. All right, let's clean this bonnet up and get started. Okay, so we've got our bonnet prepared on the stand here. We've cleaned all the dust off it and that gives us a really good view of where the imperfections are. So come around here, Fred Jr. There are no major dents, but we have noticed a couple of massive stone chips there. A little bit more, the clear coat is starting to come through there. And it's really faded up the back up here. It must have been parked in the sun. And so the reason we're doing this is making sure that when we're sanding and preparing, oh, there's a big scratch here too, um, that we pay particular attention. We might need to go hand on um, those areas there. So I've got them marked out. Driver's side, stone chips, clear coat, scratch over here. Another little ding up there. But no, no major holes that need to be patched or anything like that. So... We're going to start sanding. And I'm just going to have a quick look here on the edges of the bonnet too. And um, because when we do the matte black on top, we don't want to have, you know, blue bits under the sides there as well. Oh, now Fred. Yes. What's that marvellous looking banner you got behind oh, you? Oh yeah, they're the Mighty A9X Taranas, Fred Jr. That was my childhood. Where can I get one of them? House of Muscle. Go check out the link below. So the clear is coming off pretty well, but it starts to clog up your, um, your pads. But if you have a look over here, Fred Jr., because we marked out where those big nungas were, I'm sort of concentrating on them. I've got that area where the scratches were out. I won't take it back to a file finish all the way, um, but it takes a while. Um, and you've just got to keep changing your pads to make sure they don't get too clogged up. So I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to get all of it looking at least down to this undercoat sort of level. And then um, I'll prime it and etch it and sand it. So we're getting through here. We're doing quite a few passes and um, concentrating on those bits that I mentioned there where we have big stone chips all the way through. Um, we had that big scratch over here. We smoothed him out. Um, and I'm going to keep going. All the clear coat is off, but you can see you get two or three layers of coat in these factory paint jobs. So we're going to get it down. I'll keep going, get everything look like that. 
and then I'll hit it with a finer grain and we'll keep smoothing, make it look good. All right, so we've been going for a few hours here and that's the pretty coarse grain sanding finished. And I've just focused on a few areas there. You can see we've gone back to bare metal where we know we've had big stone chips and smoothed them out. Um, we had the, the scratch on the nunger over here that's fixed. Um, and I found some other interesting little chips up the top here. So they're all done. So now I'm going to go on to a slightly uh, more finer grit. And um, I'll keep using my little orbital sander, get that prepared, and then we'll get ready for our first bit of etch primer. Okay, so I've just finished that last pass with the orbital on the more finer grained sandpaper. And it's looking pretty good now. I've really concentrated on the, where we had those stone chips at the front. Um, blended those other patches in. And I've just hit it with the air compressor, dusted it off. So what I'm going to do now is hit it with some wax and grease remover. Because, um, you know, you never know what's on your fingers and stuff. And then we're going to get ready for our etch primer. And I've just rubbed my hands over it. And I've just checked all those bits there where we've gone down to bare metal. And we've got nice smooth edges there. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's keep going. So I've just washed my hands with a nice clean rag there. And then we'll use another very clean rag with the wax and grease. So let's spray it on, show you how it works. All right, the best thing to do with wax and grease remover is to work in small sections. So I'm going to divide the bonnet up into two halves, front and back, and then I'll do this two side wings. So the way it works is throw it on, goes on pretty liberally. I'll just wipe it off. Okay, wax and grease remover is cleaned. And I've also just hit it with the air compressor there too to make sure there's no little bits of liquid left on there. Now we're about to start etch priming, but just a little caveat first. This Snot Box project is a cheap and cheerful, it's not a show car, it's not going to be in the summer nats or into any show and shine competition. This is a track car, and in the spirit of Clooney Garage, this is all about learning how to do stuff yourself, doing jobs yourself, and not having to pay someone to do it. So this is done on the cheap, this is a $200 bonnet from a wrecker. And we're going to paint it ourselves and learn along the way. So, love some comments but um, on, on how Fred has prepared this thing and what we're doing. But also, just note that this is cheap and cheerful. This car was $5,000. It's a hail damage wreck. We are putting the least amount of money we can into it to then get it on the track and have some fun. And that's the spirit of the build. Hope you understand. Okay, first coat of primer is on. And you very light coat to start with. Just get it to bind to the metal and wait 15 minutes and put the second coat on. Okay, so when you're painting, particularly this etch primer, there's always a temptation to go a lot heavier, try and get it all, you know, nice and thick on, resist that temptation. Lots of light coats, first coat, leave 15 minutes, and then the next coats, 10 to 20 minutes, let them dry. Because you can always put a heap of coats on and we will be sanding this etch primer when we're done, but less is more. Okay, so that is coat three of our etch primer drying. And look at the straight lines in this bonnet. <clears throat> That's what they say, it's all in the preparation. And um, I'll sand that too. But we have got no stone chips and no nungas. And it's a little bit good for me and Frankie, this little bonnet. Remember the day we went and picked it up at the wrecker? I was wondering where I was going. It's like a scene out of Breaking Bad. That's all good. I trusted Frankie. Now... You're probably wondering why I'm going matte black. And that's because, as I mentioned in our last episode, we have been accepted into the Penrite Racing Ambassador Program. And we are going to turn our snot box ute into something that looks a little bit like that. Have a go at that. So that's the Erebus Motorsport Commodore. So we're going to go, we were thinking of going an entire wrap. Um, but then we're thinking with funds being a bit tight and also we want to put a lot more money into the coilovers and tyres and the setup of this car after our day at uh, Wakefield. We are actually going to paint the whole car matte black first and then we're going to sticker it up with the Penrite Racing um, insignia. So the plan is we'll have a, a huge Penrite logo on the front just like the V8 supercar. We will probably not do the liquid gold on the guards we'll keep them matte black as well but we'll have a huge Clooney racing penright sticker down the side probably from back where the um the hardtop is down to the door here a big 09 
number. And then that's going to make me and Frankie look like right little royal racers. And we're going to talk to um, we're going to talk to some other sponsors like Ryko, um, PPG, and some others too to make sure we've got the rights to use their their stickers and represent them on our car. And then on the back of it, we'll have a huge Penrite Racing logo on the back of the hard top, and the same thing down the side. So that should look pretty cool. So I'm going to keep going. A few more coats of, um, of etch primer. And then I reckon I'll get the first couple of coats of matte black on. And then I'm going to turn my attention to the bar. I'm really not happy with... Um, had a bit of a Fred episode there. I'm really not happy with actually the clear that I put on top of that. So I'm going to rub that back and just go matte black. Um, and that way it's going to match the bonnet as well. And then I'm, tomorrow... Give a bit more energy and uh, get onto the guards. Last coat of primer is on. So we're going to let that dry. Give it another 10 or 15 minutes. Slight dash of the air compressor. Dry it out. Wait an hour. Then sand. And then, hopefully, we'll be in a position to put our first coat of matte black on. So our etch primer is dry. And we're about to sand. And that looks pretty good. Just need to do a little bit of sanding there. And then we'll start getting our matte black on. So, we have wet and dried. We have prepared more wax and grease. We've cleaned the surface. This VE bonnet is nearly ready for some matte black. Let's go. First coat of matte black is on. And just like the Etch Primer, we're going to go really slow, light by light, and just get it on slowly. And make sure it goes on nicely. Okay, so it's the next day here at Clooney Garage. And all those coats of matte have gone on really nicely. I'm pretty happy with that. So, it's a nice finish. Can't see any of those previous chips or blemishes. Um, and we're going to have a massive sticker in the middle there. So that is looking good. Um, I've had to knock back the bar and start from scratch. I just wasn't happy. I could still see some imperfections there. And I actually haven't... Um, I haven't primed it properly last time either so I am going to redo the whole bar and get it properly prepared and get it ready. So that might do us for today's episode. Um, Frankie's going to come around next weekend. Um, we're going to get this bonnet off. It's a two-person job to sort of get it, hold it up in the position, undo the bolts and hinges and then put our other one on and that will be cool and then obviously I'll have the front bar done Frankie's got the front grill, and he's done something a bit interesting on that. He sent me a photo last night. Um, he put a Ford emblem on it just to stir me up, which is uh, true Frankie style. But on that note, thanks for watching. Um, it's been a pretty cool episode. We're still learning heaps here at uh, Clooney Garage Paint and Panel. But thanks for watching. Don't do it for Dale. Do it for Brocky. Catch you later.